All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office reading off some emails, and I get an interesting one from my good friend Victor over there. Uh, it's a link to an article from the boys over there at Politico. And I'm going to read it to you because I feel like it's very interesting. Uh, it goes like this. Why a top official at a top gun control group left to become an agent of Mexico? Okay, so you read that and you're wondering, what the hell is that about a uh, top agent from for Mexico? The lobbying registrations reveal a new front in the gun policy advocacy wars. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is by Haley Fuchs and Maya Ward. Uh, this was issued yesterday at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Okay, former top lawyers at the gun control advocacy group organization Brady have formed a new gun policy venture. And they're registering as foreign agents of the Mexican government as part of it. Okay, so this comes as a part of like, you know, the, the lawsuit that that judge threw out, uh, said it was bullshit. The new advocacy group, Global Action on Gun Violence, aims to address cross-border gun trafficking from the U.S., according to the filings of the Department of Justice. Now, we already talked about this before, and basically, uh, Eric Holder, uh, Barack Obama, you guys are the ones that should be getting sued right now. The group, which has not yet formally launched, intends to represent foreign governments or others rallying against the gun industry and lobbying and litigation. And see, that's that's pretty much what it is. It's not about the gun violence. Guns don't create violence. But what they want to do is they want to destroy the gun market, the gun industry, which is pretty interesting. Uh, let's see here. Okay. It is led by Jonathan Lowy, the former chief counsel at Brady, who directed the organizational's legal arm for years. Interesting. Advocates have long shed a spotlight on illicit trafficking of firearms into Mexico, arguing that it fuels drug trafficking. So, wait a minute. Guns going into Mexico fuels gun trafficking, or was they say drug trafficking? Hmm. What I do know, and I can tell you, is open borders really are an advocate for uh, drug trafficking. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. But Lowy's move still represents a major shift in the world of gun policy advocacy. Lowy has been a key player at Brady, which has helped wage some of the most high-profile legislative fights around gun control, but primarily in Washington, D.C. and state houses. The launch of the new group underscores how the theater for action has expanded globally. So now what we're doing is we've got these gun control groups are trying to convince foreign nationals that the way to go ahead and go through enacting their agenda is to have that country's government sue the gun manufacturers here. Good God, they'll stop at nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Earlier this month, Global Action on Gun Violence quietly filed paperwork quietly with the DOJ under the Foreign Agents Registration Act with Lowy and Elizabeth Burke, who is also an attorney at Brady, registering as agents of Mexico. Big waste of money, folks. Brady, for its part, was hesitant to dive into the work that would fall under the foreign influence law, its chief operating officer, Susan Lavington, said. Lavington added that the group would remain laser-focused on America's gun violence violence. Shit, keep the assholes in jail is <laughs> one way to do it and did not plan to collaborate with or provide any funding for Lowy's group. This guy Lowy must be a real character. I'll find a picture of him. And in an interview, Lowy emphasized that he departed from the legacy nonprofit amicably. He said he views gun control as a means to address issues with cross-border drug traffic and migration and plans to work with other countries affected by U.S. gun industry practices. Well, that's interesting because I guess uh, Obama, no, Biden himself, actually put a ban on the importation of firearms from Russia as well as ammo. So it's interesting that they're trying to figure out another way of suing guns manufacturers, just another way to try to roadblock our way to freedom. The guns that are trafficked across the border is like the venom in the cartel, he said. That is the venom that makes them dangerous. I got news for you, guys. They got plenty of guns over there. They don't need us. Gun control advocates have warned that proliferation of guns in the United States is fueling destabilization in Mexico as weapons pour into the country illegally via straw purchases who pass on the weapons to smugglers. I got a great idea. Why don't you build a damn wall? We can keep all the guns here. How about that? <gasps> what a novel idea. Okay. <laughs> Uh, who pass on the weapons to smugglers, says Stephen Hargenton, an emergency physician in the Medical College of Wisconsin. 
uh, gun violence first. All right, so this guy's up in Wisconsin. What the hell does he know anything about the borders? It's estimated that there are more homicides in Mexico linked to U.S. guns than there are in the United States. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. How about they're linked to Mexicans shooting Mexicans? The problem, the advocates say, has been exacerbated by a loosening of U.S. export restrictions. Gun manufacturers and interest groups scored a win in 2020 when the Trump administration moved export license oversight from the State Department to the Commerce Department, easing export laws and increasing gun sales and illegal trafficking of weapons. I don't understand the illegal part of it. If Trump supposedly made it so much easier, then why would somebody have to illegal traffic guns? Uh, yeah, with the growing recognition that gun violence is a global health problem, multiple groups have come onto the scene in recent years to take part in highlighting the issue. Hargarten said litigation is among the tools, he said. To have someone like Jonathan Lowy decide to devote all his attention to this, I think is evidence that this is a big deal. Global Action on Gun Violence filed a lawsuit in Arizona against the U.S. gun dealers on behalf of Mexico earlier this month. The lawsuit alleges that the companies choose to sell guns using reckless and unlawful practices despite the foreseeability, indeed virtual certainty, that they are thereby helping cause deadly cartel violence across the board. I can see the guys over there at Recoil Magazine putting their ads, you know, you should buy our guns. They better help you in your cartel. Lowe explained that the goal was to go beyond litigation, suggesting that the group would lobby around legislation and gun regulation of guns, companies on behalf of foreign governments or people outside the U.S. I got some news for you. People outside the U.S. need to keep their damn mouth shut. He declined to provide the details. Of course he did. About the group's funding or its advisor, I bet Michael Bloomberg maybe have a little bit to do with this, but according to a filing with the Department of Justice, helps its board will include Dennis Hennigan, another lawyer, and a Brady alum, and Malcolm Ruby, a lawyer who has worked with Brady on a lawsuit against the fire manufacturer Smith & Wesson on behalf of the victims of the Toronto shooting. <laughs> Last year, Lowy and other attorneys filed a lawsuit on behalf of Mexico against the U.S. gun companies, alleging that they facilitate illicit trafficking of guns into Mexico, Antigua, and Barbado, Barbuda, Barbuda, and Belize were among those that filed a brief in support of Mexico's case. However, <laughs> earlier this month, a federal judge in Massachusetts dismissed the lawsuit. The government said it was intended to appeal the decision. The government said it intended to appeal the decision. That's pretty horrible. I don't know if they're talking about Mexican government or U.S. government. Let's just face it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there are people out there that will never stop uh, attacking our Second Amendment rights or those who stand behind our Second Amendment rights. Yeah. So with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. Don't forget to check out the website, kb 32 Tech. Uh, we got that in development right now, and uh, there's a lot of cool sales out there. Uh, with that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm KB32, and if you made it this far, I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.